Hey YouTube, this is Danish and this is the response video for a lot of people that are sending me messages on how to uh, do more troubleshooting practices and things like that. Now first I will recommend that some of the messages came from people that have not taken the courses so I would highly recommend that you take the free course which is a help desk course and it basically have a section about troubleshooting. So where I have shared a lot of resources from professormesser.com and also I have shared my own videos where I do advanced troubleshootings and using tools and how to do things. So I definitely recommend you to do that because with that you will know more information. Now coming back to the people that are requesting in the labs that do you know any labs that we can do for troubleshooting because I get so many questions. How do you do registry troubleshooting in the interviews and some of like the images and stuff like that. So. For that, uh, I would recommend that you take the uh, the CompTIA A+, which is this one right here. It's a very powerful course. It's a new course. So if you click on the CompTIA A+, you will see these three sections right here. Troubleshooting, troubleshoot common system problem problems. If I click on it, you can see right here, there are, there are, these are the things that people may ask you. Do you know how to resolve common networking issues? And in this, you will learn that practically okay and then there's troubleshooting networking issues so you can see right here ip config tracer nestat ns lookup these are very known type of commands and people are going to ask you these type of questions and they will even test you so definitely take this one and then you have this one troubleshoot windows operating system error in progress if i click on it this is the one pretty powerful one registries if you are going to become an, uh, an IT pro or you know a help desk or someone who is going to be dealing with a lot of computers, now there are many many organizations that will hire you. Uh, just for there are many organizations that will hire you just for like you know doing a massive images or copying files and things like that and playing around with operating systems and you will be just doing that and for that you really need to know about registries and things like that images and you know some of the advanced troubleshooting inside the computer so just in one lab you can actually get that so you can get this lab single lab where you can save a lot of money if you really really are are kind of like dedicated and you want to pursue IT career like you want to become that IT professional and then move on with your career then I recommend you go for li uh, library X because then you can jump on different labs that I'm sharing right now now that that's not 902 is the first one that you should really start with but then I also recommend that you should jump into the other ones too which kind of comes in the Microsoft side and if you go to the Microsoft in Microsoft they have a specific like right here uh, Windows 7 Enterprise Desktop Support Technician. If you click on that, you can see identify and resolve new software installation issues, identify cause and resolve software failure issues, resolve logon issues, network connectivity again, network printer issues, systems that you know all this all this stuff is kind of like you know this is what you're going to be doing. And a lot of people say, oh, you know, we're on Windows 10 now. No, Windows 10 is new operating system, but it's not really. You know they're in the market i mean it is there in the market a lot of people are using but it's a mixture right now so anyone that is going to hire you that are definitely going to ask you that do you know how to deal with windows 7 machines because people are just moving from windows 7 to 10. so you you can you can think of well, why would people really hire you you know they're they're going to be looking for people that actually know how to deal with windows 7 troubleshooting and then actually you can go to the windows 7 desktop setting and here you have some more a ways to learn like you know identify and resolve deployment and client config issues so you can see every lab that you do that has to do something with a desktop support technician or something like you know windows site they all all of these labs have some type of troubleshooting labs in there and they're very powerful i bet if you go all or five or six of these labs and you go on uh, like you know you do all these troubleshooting steps you probably will you know take care of any type of questions that you know that you're going to be really confused or you're probably scared of this kind of stuff you know like because people may test you so i recommend you do these labs and then let me know if this really helps and after that uh, if still this is not helping i may make another another video just to kind of combine everything and just make a one troubleshooting video for everyone